Welcome back to Design Goals with me, Lily, and Meg. We love hearing your thoughts in the comments. We like when you weigh in on stuff that we talk about. We have opinions, very, very we strong do. opinions. We sure do. And we like that you have them too. We do. I am loving convertible furniture. Ooh. My best friend has a convertible coffee table. It rises up, twists, and its leaves flop out and becomes a dining table that can seat six. It's like magic. This is a great small space yeah. solution. Very this good is great for like starter apartments yep. if you're living in a studio. My Barbie, my working Barbie, <laughs> had an office that then you converted it, switched into a single girl apartment with this like Murphy bed that came down. Very yeah. convertible, very Classic. cool. I'm Big. into it, obviously. Barbie bank. knew where it was at. She did. Two purposes, one piece of furniture, boom. There's this photographer who was really big in the 60s. His name is Slim Aarons, and he did a lot of cool side photos of Ooh. women draped in like fancy, beautiful, like Lily Pulitzer patterns. Yeah. Like, very California, very mid-century, very like luxurious. Maybe you could create a set and you could be your own Maybe model. next week we should be wearing vintage Lily Pulitzer dresses and caftans and turbans and we do our own photo shoot. We lounge a we little. We lounge, wear some bobble jewelry. Make this black and white. Have a like chrome bar cart, call it a day. I feel like we could do that. This week, I wanna paint my radiator pink. Paint your radiator pink. I do. I'd like to paint it, ideally, an ombre pink. Ombre radiator. You know, <gasps> it might just be one tone because I have to sort of research. I read something that said I had to sandblast the old paint off of it. Not gonna happen. So I'm yeah. looking for a more simple DIY. It's complicated because I don't own a sewing machine, but I want to relearn how to sew because I want to make new pillow covers for my accent pillows. I think we can help. I made a slip cover for a straight back chair when I was a teenager, like no big deal. You Pleated skirt. It's very ambitious of a teenager. It's because you don't know what you can't do. But I used to sew all kinds of stuff and now like I couldn't probably thread a bobbin if my life depended on it. That's the thing. I feel like it's all about remembering like the mechanics yeah. of the machine. Once you learn how yeah. to thread it, then you're like good to go. Yeah. But um, I think I find it offensive that pillows cost $150. It's rude. It's out, like it actually hurts my feelings. Yeah. I know what goes into it. Yeah. Come on. Four lines. So like last week, we are going to have a trend just sort of fed to us right here on camera. Oversized art opposed to a gallery wall. Okay, I'm a hypocrite because first of all, I just redid a gallery wall behind my sofa last week. However, if you're gonna do a new thing with the art on your walls, do a big, giant, bold, huge, the whole eye draws to it, yeah. you can make the whole room. But you can make them really easily by just a digital file from a photographer that you like so that you can print it out on a canvas. Much more reasonable Get than several and... thousand. When it's that big, you can even do not framed. We're definitely defending pro... that trend. Yeah, we're defending that trend. We're pro big art. Definitely. What do you think? Oversized art or gallery wall? Weigh in. Other than flowy, loungy harem pants, Paisley, <laughs> I don't want to see you in my home decor. You're dead to me. You're dead to me. Sorry, Paisley. Sorry, Paisley. I know it's controversial in the Bring blogger it. world. I love controversy. Bring it. I am so done with fig leaf ferns. Oh, all right. There are other plants. Yes, That's all I want to say. Yes, there are. I feel like it had a huge moment in the design blog world. Mm -hmm. Pick a different one. I'm done. I hear you. This week, I want to live in Midwood, Brooklyn. It's a neighborhood in Brooklyn that has loads and loads of these out of place Victorian houses. Yes. You drive mm. down the streets and you wonder, how am I possibly in New York City? How do these houses exist in this little oasis of beauty and charm and porches? I was just gonna say our porches and involved. Peaked roofs. Oh, uh, like it's so beautiful. It's very like Stars Hollow in Brooklyn. It feels like it. you are on a movie set. Where I wanna live this week is just anywhere that involves an infinity pool. House not required. Nope, no, just seriously. Life goals, design goals, all rolled up into one situation. Yeah, Wi Fi, we never have to leave. Seriously, the pool. ever. I know, like, rustic cabin with Wi Fi. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, everyone, and we are out.